Hey guys, you're listening to uh, Andreas Talks Art. Yo, yo, what is up guys? We are back with another episode of Andreas Talks Art. And today I'm going to go over, in my opinion, what I think the five worst pieces of art advice are. So let's get right to it. The first piece of advice I hear a lot is you want to draw every day. You know, people always say draw every day. The more you draw, the better you get. And that makes sense, right? Practice makes perfect. The problem with this advice is it's very vague. And the idea of just drawing every day is not necessarily going to get you better. I think what you want to consider is what your goal is. And if you're trying to get better at your craft, well, what are you trying to get better at? Are you trying to get better at realism? Are you trying to understand colors and color theory more? Are you trying to get better at composition? And these are all very specific skills. And by just drawing every day, you're not going to necessarily progress these skills. You know, you might get better from just practicing drawing every day. But I think what's really important is to focus on what you want to improve and work on that. And it doesn't necessarily matter if you're drawing every single day. But I think what's important is focusing on skills you want to improve or focusing on whatever your goals are. You know, it might not necessarily be to improve. It might just be to do as art as much as you can. And in that case, then hell yeah, draw every day. So I really think it's all about you and what you want to achieve with your art. And to just take this advice, draw every day as a blanket statement um, for something that's going to help you with your art is not very good advice and I think it can be detrimental and I think it can be detrimental if you're just drawing without a purpose. I think what's really going to help you is to find a purpose with your creations. So let's move on to the second worst advice and these are not in any order um, but the second one something I hear is you need to find your art style right everyone's always telling you to find your niche your style and I think I go back to the first first answer where it's really about what what are you doing art for you know what's the purpose what's the goal and if you have a style a niche um, it makes it easier to find your audience so if that's what you're trying to do is you're trying to create art for a certain audience then finding a niche that your art will fit in will really help you connect with an audience a specific audience you know if you're making landscape paintings, there's going to be a specific art audience for that. If you're making abstract splatter paints, you know, there's going to be a specific audience for that. But that's really the main thing that that's going to do. But, you know, going back to your purpose, for me, my purpose and why I love creating is I love exploring and just experimenting with different ideas, different mediums, different concepts, and to contain myself into one style or niche would take away so much creativity from my art. And I know without a doubt that would hurt my art. So why would I want to find a style to box myself in when I can just create whatever I want all the time, you know? It's not always about getting the biggest audience as fast as you can. Now, if that's your goal, then maybe you want to think about having a specific niche. And just because you have a niche that you share with the world doesn't mean you can't work on other projects on your own, but maybe it's best for you to only share um, your art pieces that follow in this style if you wanna connect with a certain audience. But outside of that, you know, I think this advice really just holds people back. And it, it you know, it kind of made me feel a little like I um, could only create one style of thing and you know this isn't an idea i ever held true to myself but with so many people saying this and you see everyone has their style and it kind of happens over time you know you don't have to force it the more you create you'll start to evolve and find what you enjoy the most and that will just naturally become your style so i don't think this is something you have to force or seek out the more you create and work as an artist it will just develop naturally and I think the most important thing to do is just explore and not contain yourself in any sort of box or circle or triangle or any sort of shape you know just let yourself be free 
So let's move on to the second, no, the third worst tip for artists. And that is people will say, don't use references. That if you use references, you're not being creative. You're not creating your own original art. You know, you're, you're copying other people's ideas. And you know, that's just bogus, man. That's ridiculous. You know, first of all, you have to start somewhere. And if you don't use references, how are you going to know how things look? And the fact that people think that because you're creating something based off of references, based off of reference means it's not your own creation. It's just, it's ridiculous because like I said, naturally it's your creation and you're going to put your own style to it because it's you creating this piece. So if you're just looking at a landscape and trying to copy it you know it, it's never going to be perfect it's never going to be exactly how it is it's going to be your own version of it and that's what makes it unique and special and references just allow you to really observe and see how things are and i think quite the opposite i think you should be using references all the time especially if you're trying to create realistic pieces you know and i think you should look at as much thing you can and when you're just going around your day to day just observe and look how things are placed within the world and how just different shapes are you know if you just look at someone's face and take away the fact that this is a face and just start to look at the shapes you know this shadow side to my face you know this half oval shadow and then this brightness over here you know you the circle of my cheek and just understand how how things look to your eye um I think references are so important and there's no reason not to use them. So definitely keep using references. That's a, that's a good thing to do. Let's move on to the fourth worst piece of advice. And people will say you need talent to be an artist. You have to be talented in order to draw, in order to make it as an artist. And that is 100% obviously bullshit. I don't think anyone who's made it as an artist ever started off as a good artist. You know, how, what's one thing you started off and you were great at when you first started? Talent is, uh, I mean, if you have talent, it's a great place to start. It gives you, you know, you're that one step up, but what it really takes, what it really comes down to is how, um, how much you can grow and progress as an artist, you know, the skills you learn. Because no matter how talented you are, someone who works nonstop can easily, without a doubt, gain more skills and knowledge than you. And yeah, at the end of the day, it's really just about the uh, the work you put in. And this might be a, sound a little contradicting to the first one that I said, um, draw every day, but it's not about drawing every day to get skills. It's just about how I was saying, practicing what you want to learn and progressing. You know, if you're not talented, what are you not talented at? Drawing realistic? Well, you can work on those skills and become better. You know, everything you can get better at. So it doesn't matter if you're talented or not. It just matters if you're willing to get better at it or not. So with that, let's move on to the fifth and the final piece of the worst advice you can get as an artist. And one thing I've heard people say is they will say this and that is not real art. They will say digital art is not real art. They will say abstract art is re not real art. They will say anime is not real art. They will say fan art is not real art. And at the end of the day, it doesn't fucking matter if it's real art or not. Like, who's the one who decides what is art and what isn't art? And who even gives a fuck if you're making art, right? It's just about, for me, and I think that's what all of these ideas go back to is, what is it about for you? You know, why are you doing this? Um, and for me, like I said before, it's about exploring and being creative and learning new skills and at the end of the day it doesn't really matter to me if other people think i'm making art or not it just matters that i am exploring and learning and being creative and discovering new things you know so i think all of these ideas just go back to that same point that you have to think 
and decide what you want out of your art and yourself as an artist. And once you figure that out, you know, none of this matters. So give that some thought. Let me know in the comments below what your goal with art is, what your purpose is with your art, why you're making art. And yeah, that's all I got for you guys. If there's any other bad advice you've heard, drop it in the comments as well. I'd love to, uh, I'd love to hear it. And thanks for watching. I will catch you guys next time. See ya. Thanks for listening. Share this with your friends if you liked it. And don't forget to be cool. Peace out.